Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be back working on the Mark II Golf header tank. So in the last video you would have seen that I've got it all bent up and I've got it all tacked together as well. So in this video we've still got quite a bit of machining left to do. We've also got some interesting design ideas that we're going to put into this. So credit to Dad for that idea because you'll see in a little while what I mean. But that was all his idea. So I hope you enjoy this video, as always don't forget to like and subscribe and all the links to all our social media will be in the description box below. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. Something me and Dad have been talking about trying for a little while is putting a pressing of the VW symbol in the side of the header tank. So yeah, I'm just going to draw around this and then we should be able to use that as our template. a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, whoa, forward. You'll cut it to size first, don't you? Yeah, I'll cut it to size and then see. take the uh, cover off and see what it looks yeah. like. Yeah? You can draw on it, mark it out so that's central. Yeah. I think that was the right thing, doing it bigger. Yeah. And then I can get it in the middle then. I've just been looking in the car and uh, where the standard one is mounted. And basically it is exactly like this. So I'm going to put the mount on this side here, but I'm going to put them quite far back because the um, ignition coil sits quite close to it and I don't want it to hit. So, And there's loads of space in front of it, so um, that shouldn't matter at all. So we'll just move it sort of forwards a little bit. The next thing is to figure out where all my pipes go. So I've got this other side cut now and I did mark it the centre to go here. Um, but just because of the... Um, just because of the location of where this is going to sit now I'm actually going to move it so it sits somewhere about here on the back um, I've then just got a little pipe to put in the top which is going to be out of here So I've just managed to get a majority of the header tank all welded up now, um, it's all cooled down. Um, I've also got the um, level sender uh, bung welded in as well. So next thing is to bend up the pipes that go in here, a uh, straight pipe out of here and then we've got a slightly bigger 19mm one out of the bottom. So we'll get on with them and then we can get them welded in too. Now all of the pipes and everything are all welded in, next thing is to make um, a mount.
Right, so that is the header tank now all finished. You can see the VW symbol came out really nicely. I'm really happy with that. For a second ever attempt, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Actually welded up really nicely as well. You see we've got the sensor in the back, got the um, pressure top, got the pipe there to the radiator and then we've got the sight gauge as well. Then we've got this just on the bottom here for the bottom hose. So I'm very very happy and I can't wait to see what this looks like on. I also just drilled some little holes in the bracket just to make it look something and I've also chucked a layer or a couple of layers of lacquer on it as well. Because I really like the look of it being shiny and and looking like aluminium but I just don't like when it all goes all corroded and yucky so I just thought if I put a, a few coats of clear lacquer on it I was hoping that it might preserve it enough for as long as I need it to anyway so no I'm really happy with that. So in my attempt of over engineering and making it as fancy as I possibly can um, I'm now starting to think that I might have made a bit of a mistake putting a sight gauge in because obviously I've already got the sensor so that will tell me when it's low um, but I've put this plastic pipe in and although it is high temperature pipe I am a little bit concerned that with that being quite hot and under pressure as well that this isn't going to withstand it so I might have made a bit of a mistake with this but it's not anything that we can't overcome and if I get any issues with it I can just cut it off and weld it up so it's not the end of the world but I'm now starting to think it might not have been the best idea. As I mentioned before um, I was pretty sure that the plug was different for the new sensor compared to this one so I have managed to find a plug which I've misplaced and I can't see it now. I found the plug that I've got. So this is near enough the same as the sensor that I bought. Okay, so that is that all now on and fitted. Um, all I've got left to do is fill it up with some coolant, check everything's okay, and then we should be good to go. So we can now start it up, let it run up, get it warm. Okay. Right, so we're now ready to start the car up, let it get warm, get the water circulating, and then we can keep topping it up just until it's level and make sure that that light has gone out. If that's all good and we have no leaks, then we are good to go. So as you can just about see, the sight gauge is doing its job perfectly, so it, I now know that it's up to the right amount. Um, I've also had it up and running nice and hot and just topped it up, like I said, and it seems to be absolutely fine I can't see any leaks there was one pipe that was um, a little bit loose so I just tightened the Jubilee clip um, and now that's all okay so there's no pro you know concerning leaks it wasn't actually even from the header tank it was actually from the radiator but that's just probably just one that I hadn't done it properly when I drained it so it's looking like it's all good I mean there's a little bit of coolant on it but that is just where I spilt it because apparently I can't do it properly so yeah I'm pretty chuffed with this I mean the real test will be in the coming weeks but just get using it and hopefully it will all be okay and obviously in further videos I will update you on how it's going, let you know if I have any issues or anything of the kind. Um, another thing is it's also high enough that the sensor has gone out on the inside 
so I'm pretty chuffed about that it's actually showing that it's working so I must have done something right with that too so that's it for this video as you can see the header tank is all sorted now I'm very very happy with how it looks and how it came out and it actually does its job as well which is absolutely perfect so I'm really happy with this there's still a few more things that I want to do to this car in the engine bay it just needs a general tidy up still but we're getting there there's quite a few more bits that I need to make but we can just keep working through the little jobs and getting it looking absolutely perfect so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one